Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. Over there's the answer. Hey, look, this I'm is first. the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're taking a look at 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Now, ah. I remember seeing this when I was just a little guy in elementary school. Saw he was it, never uh, little. Saw it back in the day, but you know, I haven't seen it since. So the thing I'm most interested in is to see what do I think of it after many years and looking at it through some older eyes? So this should be a lot. You're not that old, but uh, look at that. Milwaukee's own Gene Wilder starring as Willy Wonka. I definitely am ready, willing, and able to watch this now. I have maybe seen it when I was a kid. I only know like pop culture references, and that's about it. So let's just get to this. I have never seen this movie, and this will come as a surprise to absolutely nobody who has seen the channel before. What I do know of this movie has come from three memes, one of the OG <laughs> memes going back like a dozen years. Willy Wonka doing this and saying, oh, really? Tell me about your problems. Um, kid with the uh, the golden ticket and then giving, uh, giving Grandpa Joe a hard time. Well, I think <laughs> it's just... giving Grandpa Joe a hard time. That is the extent of my knowledge of this movie. Um, it's, it's huge as answer, answer mentioned in pop culture, so I'm excited to, uh, to watch it for the first time. All right, let's go! Some sweets. A sizzler for June Marie. Wonka has got a new one today. What is it? This Wonka is bar. called a scumdiddly umptious bar. How does he do it? My dear boy, do you ask a fish how it swims? No. Just like Willy Wonka was born to be a candy I'm going to start using that. Why? You ask a fish why it swims? <laughs> Wait, is this whole thing a musical? There, I believe so, right? Because I know there's this Candyman. and then a couple other songs. Yeah, the candy. Ah, okay. We used to have a rugby song that was similar to this. <laughs> Can't do it here. Who can take tomorrow? Dip it in a dream. The candy man. Oh, just so. <laughs> zero <laughs> health violations. <laughs> Come behind the counter, kids. Yeah. I recognize that face. Is he not allowed in? Maybe he doesn't have the money, money, but he didn't realize the kids were all getting yeah, free, free candy. candy. <laughs> or maybe they have like a, a monthly fee they pay and maybe. get all the Hi, candy. Hi, Mr. They Joe can. Peck. Ah, come along, Charlie. There you are. Thanks. Say hello to your grandpa, Joe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're just waiting for the memes, aren't you? Uh -uh. Uh, Nobody cares about he, the food he, stand. Just, he just <laughs> tossed it at the guy. In the he gave him like seven newspapers, didn't he? <laughs> and then it was paper payday. Out. I had a paper out when I was Ooh, a kid. intense music. Wasn't, uh, wasn't delivering seven newspapers, I'll tell you that. Up the airy mountain, down the rushing glen, we dare not go a-hunting. Fear of little men. That cleaver he's got. Well, that's not creepy at all. Nobody ever comes out. <laughs> What's with all the knives? What the hell? Well, you know, back then people had knife sharpened. Yeah, business, that's true. Yeah. Like that. So maybe. Well, that's a nice, nice paved road right there. Oh, that's how they do things over in Europe. Is there he is. <laughs> oh, there's my guy. <laughs> As soon as I get my strength back, I'm going to get out of this bed and help him. I've yet to see you set foot on the floor. Wake up! Wake, Wake up! Charlie's home! Oh. <laughs> the breadwinner's home. Yeah. Is this your supper, Grandpa? How about this? Charlie, where'd you get that? What difference does it make where he got it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a real banquet. Here's what's left. You keep it. From now on, I'm going to pay for your tobacco. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I'm giving it up. Dad, it's only one pipe a day. Go on, Grandpa. Please take it. Yeah, get your fix. Grandpa needs the hell? medicine. Don't drop it in his cabbage water. <laughs> there was a strange man there. I think he was a tinker. Nobody ever goes in, and nobody ever comes out. Why do you lock it? Because all the other chocolate makers in the world were sending in spies. About three years later, the factory started working again. But the gates stayed locked. Not even Mr. Slugworth could steal them. Someone must be helping Mr. Wonka work the factory. It is the biggest mystery of them all. Sounds like an interesting supply chain. <laughs> <laughs> we have here nitric acid, glycerine, and a special mixture of my own. <laughs> Whoa, that's uh, great to give to ten-year-olds. 
you knew and I didn't know, then you'd be teaching me instead of me teaching you. Now, Charlie, you take the nitric acid and the glycerine. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <Whoa. laughs> Willy Wonka's opening his factory. He's going to let people in. You sure? Class dismissed. No, 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 people. Five golden tickets and the people who find them will win the big prize. Gotta buy Wonka bars to find them. Class three dismissed. <laughs> Class three dismissed. <laughs> We're going out yeah. to buy chocolate bars. Folks, help me out with who that actor is, who's the, the teacher there. He looks familiar. Oh, does he have money anymore to no. buy a chocolate bar? He gave everything right. to his mom, he gave it to Grandpa his mom. Joe, for tobacco. Yep. A lifetime supply of chocolate. And as if this were not enough, we'll be personally escorted. They're all crazy. Already we have reports coming in that the response is phenomenal. Truly, it is incredible the way that Wantamania has descended upon Wonka Mania, yeah. brother! <laughs> Running wild! I'm still having these dreams, Doctor. To believe in one's dreams is a manifestation of insanity. But I dreamed the Archangel appeared and whispered into my ear and told me where to find a golden Wonka ticket. Well, what difference does that make? This was a dream. I mean, you said just Shut now. Shut up, Offsetter, and tell me where the ticket is. <laughs> <laughs> this golden ticket was found in the small town of Dusselheim, Germany. It's lucky finder is the son of our most prominent pork butcher, Pride of Dusselheim, the fame of Western Germany. Augustus, how does it make you feel to be the first golden ticket finder? I feel sorry for Wonka. It's gonna cost an unfortunate fudge. Mr. Gloop, would you mind saying. <laughs> <laughs> Eating is this hobby, you know. Be encouraged. Look at that guy. He's up to no good. He's definitely up to no good. Happy, happy, happy Charlie. Charlie. Here you are, Charlie. Thank you. It's terrific. We each knitted a bit. And here's a little gift from Grandpa George and me. A Wonka. Open it, Charlie. Let's see that golden ticket. I got it. Where? Yeah. Where? Let's see. You thought I really had it. Everybody have a bite. No, no, no. You just, just not no, 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 no. A nice kid. Sure is a well-mannered young man, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Look at they got a whole box. Yeah. Give me time. I want it now. <laughs> the first girl that finds a golden ticket gets a one pound bonus. You're going to be very Let's unpopular around here, Henry, if you don't deliver soon. <laughs> of the differences between the behaviors yeah. of young Charlie and Veruca. What can I do? <laughs> Jeez! I want it. <laughs> oh, that's hey, the same that guy. guy again. Thank God for that. Hi. This, ladies and gentlemen, Oops. is the uh. sign of our time. We're now nearing the end of our forty-third day in the hunt for golden tickets. New shipments are being sent to different points around Armor the world, car. but they're just not moving. Look, he's got. <laughs> they've got. Oh my God! We're about to witness the greatest miracle. This machine. Will tell us the precise location of the three remaining golden tickets. <laughs> yeah. I won't tell. That would be cheating. <laughs> 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 Miss Violet Beauregard, finder of Wonka's golden ticket number three. Here it is, golden ticket number three, and it's all mine. Tell us how it happened, Violet. So I laid off the gum and switched to candy bars instead. I chew it all day except at mealtimes when I stick it beyond my ear. Violet. I've been chewing on for three months solid, and that's a world record. Yeah, it's this guy oh, again. Oh, that guy. How is he everywhere all over the world like that? Wonka must have knew where he was sending him. Charlie, exactly. what are you doing here? Here, pull up a pile of clothes and sit down. Going to newspaper route today? Just finished. Wanted to tell you something. Found a third ticket today. Did they? There are only two tickets left, you know. In case you're wondering if it'll be me, it won't be. There are a hundred billion people in this world, and only <laughs> give or take. <laughs> but I am different. I want it more than any of them. You'll catch your chance. One day things will change. When will they change? Probably when you least expect it. Some good advices. This is uh, significantly more wholesome than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. Mom working hard, Charlie, very well-mannered young man. I just want to get to the chalk factory. I want to see Gene. <laughs> you just relax. You Trust get the process. blue, <laughs> cheer up, Charlie, up and at him, boy. It's like a Rocky speech turned into a musical. <laughs> well, now, now you know where Rocky took it from. That's I mean, right. this came out first.
While the rest of the world goes on searching, here in the Southwest, it has actually happened. There's only one oh. golden ticket left in the entire world. It's lucky winner number four. Now, the name soon to be heard around the universe. <laughs> 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 you shut up. I'm busy. I serve all his TV dinners right here. He's never even been to the table. Wait till I get a real one. Pop won't let me have one yet, will you, Pop? Not till you're 12, son. <laughs> <laughs> Is something wrong? Grandpa, that money was for tobacco. I told you, Charlie. <laughs> you just can't get over the fact that he had... One ticket left. Now, let's see some of that gold. No, you do it. Here goes. Mm. Bet those golden tickets make the chocolate taste terrible. Uh. <laughs> Always looking on the bright side. I'm, I'm sorry I heard Peter say that about I bet you it makes the beer taste terrible. <laughs> when it's looking for the absolutely last case of Wonka bars left in the United Kingdom. 1,500 pounds, 2,000. 5,000 pounds! Your Majesty. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Queen Cass. I'll give them anything. Anything they want. All I want is to have Harold back. Go ahead, we're listening. What did they ask for? They want your case of Wonka bars. <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to do it? Get her husband back? No, she's in the same uh, It's your husband's life or your case of Wonka bars. <laughs> How long will it give me to think it over? <laughs> <laughs> The fifth and final ticket has been found. The finer is Lucky Alberto Mignoletta, the multimillionaire owner of gambling casinos. Here is the most recent picture, the man who has finally Turn put an end to Wankomania. Little boy's got to have something in this world to hope for. Who's going to tell him? Oh, let's not wake him. Let him have one last dream. One last dream? Does he think he doesn't have a big life expectancy? Or? Percentages. And for an example, let's take the recent unpleasantness. You, Madeline Durkin, how many Wonka bars did you open? About a hundred. Ten hundreds in a thousand, therefore you opened ten percent. How many did you open? Two. Two hundred is twice one hundred. Two hundred. Two? <laughs> what do you mean you only opened two? Well, I can't figure out just two, so let's pretend you opened two. Oh, my God. <laughs> How do you not figure out, figure out two? You figure out two. Is that one pound sterling? Think they're going to have any left? Um, well, it looks like a whole bunch right there. Yeah. Jabber's the biggest. Try a Wonka scrum diddly umptious. Now that all the tickets have been found, I don't have to hide them anymore. Are <laughs> <clears throat> you just throwing candy away before? You'll get a stomachache if you swallow it like that. Bye. Bye now. Oh, now he's starting so to like chocolate. I think I'll buy just one more. Why not try a regular Wonka bar this time? Fine. Here, let me see. Extra, extra. Hear about the scandal. That gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. That means there's one golden ticket still floating around. No. Ah, you got a chance, Charlie. Ah, I wouldn't be opening that thing in public. Uh. Come on. Huh? What's it going to be? Well, ah, there's nothing there. No <laughs> kid, uh, come on. Oh! Oh! oh. Hey! There it, it is! Got the golden that. ticket! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> He's got it! Yeah. Walker's... You got it! You got the last golden ticket! Oh, some of you waving that thing <laughs> around! <laughs> <laughs> well, enough witnesses. Enough witnesses. Yeah, the kid got it. If nothing else, he's lucky that lady grabbed him because yeah. all of a sudden there's witnesses. Yep. Run straight home and don't stop till you get there! Oh! <laughs> he's gonna just <laughs> nudge him and just run him over! Yeah, if this was made in... 2023, Ethan Hunt would roll up and <laughs> take the ticket, and a whole new Mission Impossible <laughs> movie would <laughs> present itself. They would. Instead of finding the rabbit's foot, we'd be looking for a golden ticket. <laughs> yep. There's our guy. Well done. You found the fifth golden ticket. Arthur Slugworth, president of Slugworth oh. Chocolates Incorporated. Mr. Wonka is at this moment working on a fantastic invention, the Everlasting Gobstopper. So all I want you to do is to get hold of just one Everlasting Gobstopper and bring it to me so that I can find the secret formula. A new house for your family and good food and comfort for the rest of their lives. Okay, yeah. interesting. Interesting that he was at everybody's house. Yeah. <laughs> He's 
Your bro sh- sh- showed up to people's living room. Slugworth trying to sneak his way in. Well, he, he asked the one guy and he ate the I microphone. I mean, it's not a yeah. bad deal. He's not even asking him to give up the ticket because he needs the kid to do some, you know, some intel work. Yeah. Kid still gets to take the tour. Just, he's just asking house. him to uh, to commit some uh, espionage for him. Some chocolate espionage. There aren't any more golden tickets. Look at it, Grandpa. See for yourself. From Mr. Willy Wonka. Charlie, you've done it. I can't believe it. Grandpa, I I can take somebody with me. I wish you could go. Gonna get out of that bed? Was he gonna do a freaking kip up or? No. <laughs> 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 Just <laughs> nice and stiff. <laughs> Watch it, Joe. Oh, <laughs> oh, this guy's too great at his, at his physical comedy. That's awesome. He could have broke that and went freaking over. It's all it took. Look at me. Motivation. Up and about. I haven't done this in 20 years. Oh, I thought he was going to start singing a song and tap that dancing. Meme or what? Yeah. And I never thought my life. Bro, mom's been working washing clothes for 20 years. <laughs> all, all he had to do was get up. And he has got a paper route. <laughs> so, yeah. The, uh, kid, yeah. The, oh, God. The kid's is, the breadwinner. Yeah. He literally brought home the bread. <laughs> this is why everybody hates Grandpa Joe. <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> I never had a chance to shine. I never thought that I would be slapped in the lap of luxury. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you need a cane? Ch- nice <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is some of the sketchiest <laughs> sh- that I have seen in the history of film. Look at the sun. Now he's dancing. Oh. It says the 1st of October. That's tomorrow. The way home today, I ran into Mr. Slugworth. Oh. So here's the deal. He don't don't a give full ten thousand. Yeah, don't tell don't tell him. He might be a little greedy. <laughs> oh, you mean the guy who laid in bed and didn't work for twenty years while his well, grandson, his it was, daughter, it was easier that way. And delivered papers. My kid is still uh, eating. It's Augustus. Hi, Billy. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Fish Face. Willie Wonka has promised to open his gates and shower gifts on the five lucky winners. Oh boy! Oh, we're getting Almost close. Ten. Hey, give me a break. Let me get a shot. I want to go in first before anybody else. Anything you say, sweetheart? Save some room for later, Augustus Liebling. What work do we need? We're going to see the greatest of them all. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, it's not Metallica. Oh, I thought uh, he got thought all ready. coming out. There's a man, Gene. <laughs> Ooh, got a bad wheel. Ooh, that- Kane looks like he's getting a little bowed. Yeah, he's really putting some weight on it. Yeah, it's bending every <laughs> time he's <laughs> still at that. that thing. <laughs> what kind of cane is that? <laughs> made out of chocolate. <laughs> What's going on here? It's made out of bamboo. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah, ah, it's working ah, come on, oh. guy. <laughs> Very tricky. Well, to be fair, what, it was the left leg, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Get back, you. Come on, you. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be such an exciting day. And now, would you please show me your golden tickets? I'm Veruca Salt. My dear Veruca, what a pleasure. Augustus Gloop. Augustus. <laughs> Augustus Gloop. <laughs> Charlie Bucket. Well, well, Charlie Bucket. I read all about you in the paper. Overjoyed, enraptured. <laughs> All right, here we here go. Here we go. Uh, Little surprises around every corner, but nothing dangerous. And as soon as your outer <laughs> vest runs <laughs> 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 That was really far first of- I didn't know we had to sign anything for this tour. <laughs> Violet, baby, don't you sign anything there. What's this all about? My room could not sign anything either. Then she don't go in. I'm sorry, rules of the house. Don't you dare stop. I'm only trying to help you, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, she just threw <laughs> to the floor. Everyone signed? Yes. Uh, things are getting sketchy right off the get-go. 44, 100% pure. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Well, I know there's a dog here somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him just moving. <laughs> We've just come through there. Why do you like them? Better press on. Hey, the room is getting smaller. <laughs> Where's the chocolate? I doubt if there is any. You are now about to enter the nerve center. Inside this room, all of my dreams become realities, and almost everything you'll see is eat edible. I mean, you can eat almost everything. <laughs> Eatable. <laughs> this is a musical lock. The chocolate room. Wait, look, the other door's right behind him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the chocolate fountain. Yeah. I want that. Come with me. Hey, Carlo. And you'll see. <laughs> we'll begin with a skin. <laughs> He's <laughs> having a field day with that cane. Anything you want to do it, there's nothing to it. Could he just pluck a hair yeah. for DNA? They didn't know about DNA in 71, uh, did they? Ah, no. uh, somewhat. <laughs> uh, they've been there for like five minutes. Yes. I mean, this set design is incredible. You know, a lot of that stuff's not even chocolate, it doesn't look like. It's just regular candies. Well, he does all of it. I suppose. It's polluted. It's huh. chocolate. That's chocolate. Chaga River. That's the most fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And look at my waterfall. That's the most important thing. You know, no other factory in the world mixes its chocolate by waterfall. It must be creaming and sugaring time. Well, they can't be real people. Nonsense. No, Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Oompa Loompas. Oh, well, then you know all about it. <laughs> what a terrible country it is. Poor little Oompa Loompas were so small and helpless. So I said, come and live with me in peace and safety. I want you to get me an Oompa Loompa right away. All right, Roko, all right. I want an Oompa Loompa now. Can you never? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at oh, there's my oh, guy. Yeah. He's just over there drinking, <laughs> slapping it up. Don't do that. You're contaminating my entire river. Please, I beg you, Augustus. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. I said the drink. It's contaminated. Hell, police, murder. Too late. Too late. He's <laughs> had it now. The suction's got him. <laughs> Watch the pipe. He's Watch the pipe. He's blocking all the chocolate. Pressure will get him out. Terrific pressure is building up behind the blockage. Oh, oh no. He's going to go <laughs> right out. The is terrible. Remember you once asked me how a bullet comes out of a gun? Oh, um, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, ah, ah, here's the song everybody knows. <laughs> what are you at getting terribly <laughs> fat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the look of it. <laughs> hey, what kind of place you running here anyhow? Maintenant nous allons faire un petit voyage par bateau. Wonkatania. Oh, but that's not contaminating, no, though, Charles. It's, it's been sterilized. Sanitized. Sterilized. Yeah. Sanitized. Well, what's it running on? Sure, it's got some sort of fuel. Ah, oh, it's probably, uh... Probably electric. What if it's electric? Or what if there's Oompa Loompas pedaling? Oh. All aboard, everybody. Uh, ladies first, and that means Maruka. You're going to love this. Just love it. Ah, see? Well, okay, there we go. Oompa Loompa power. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take them to build this set? Oh, yeah. A hot minute, oh. that's for sure. World and home again. That's the sailor's way. Tell those painters to stop paddling by the. <laughs> oh, look at all! Oh, oh, they're moving. We're picking up some speed. This is kind of strange. Yeah, strange, darling, but it's fun. Oh. No, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Slugworth. What? No knowing where we're rowing. Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. The danger must be growing for the rowers. Keep on rowing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
This has gone far enough, quite right, sir. Stop the boat. We're there. Hair <laughs> <There. laughs> cream. By the hair shop. I can't tell you much more of this. Damen und Herren, no touching, no tasting, no telling. Slugworth would give his false teeth to get inside for just five minutes. <laughs> The bandit room looks more like the American bath to me. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Whoa! Your teeth! Boy, that's great stuff. That's exploding candy for your enemies. <laughs> exploding <laughs> candy? What's the matter? Too hot, Mr. Wonka? Too cold. Forgive me, but no one must look under there. This is the one that's really going to sizzle old Slugworth. Would you like to see? Yeah, it is. That's right the one right there. <laughs> was that a Rube Goldberg machine? Yeah. Ooh, what was that? Oh, it's, are those our gobstoppers? Can't you see? It makes everlasting gobstoppers. I want an everlasting gobstopper. Me too. You can suck them and suck them and suck them, and they'll never get any smaller. I can only give them to you if you solemnly swear to keep them for yourselves. Agreed? Oof. Agreed. Cross our fingers. Now, over here, if you'll follow me, I have something rather special to show you. My revolutionary, non-pollutionary mechanical wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Tomatoes. It's like a real marvel of machinery, huh? The creation of a confectionery giant. And bees making honey? Don't you know what this is? My gum, it's gum! Wrong! <laughs> 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 this little piece of gum is a three-course dinner. Bull! Violet, now don't you do anything stupid. <gasps> What's it taste like? It has <laughs> <a little stuff. laughs> Look at him oh, sitting Charlie, back there. Blueberry <laughs> <laughs> pie and cream. It's the most marvelous uh, blueberry pie I've ever seen. Dad, let me finish. Yeah, but your face is turning blue. Look what it's done to my kid. Always goes wrong when we come to the dessert. You're blowing up like a balloon. Like a blueberry. Somebody do something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ant from, uh, from Potter. <laughs> There's no air in there. Hmm? That's juice. Would you roll the young lady down to the juicing room at once, please? We're squeezing. <laughs> she has to be squeezed immediately before she explodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. So at uh, first they hit her face with the blue light pretty hard. Yeah. Now they just flat out painted her yeah. in blue. I can't be the only one who thinks this is creepy. Well, I guess that's what it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. Where is fancy bread? In the heart or in the head? Two naughty, nasty little children gone. <laughs> Lickable wallpaper. Go ahead, try it. Oh. Try some more. The strawberries <laughs> taste like strawberries. The snozberries taste like <laughs> snozberries. <laughs> Super troopers. <laughs> that's where that's from. Oh my god, I had no idea. No wonder he says the schnoz. Something oh. very unusual in here. What's it making, Mr. Wonka? Fizzy lifting drinks. But I daren't sell it yet. It's still too powerful. Try some No, absolutely not. There'd be children floating around all over the place. Let's take a drink, Charlie. Nobody's watching. Nothing's happening. You're right, Charlie. I can't understand why. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. It works. Come on in. The air's fine. Oh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, like he's in a pool. Oh. Oh, this and is just right. think, just yesterday you were in bed for the past 20 years, and now right. you're flying. Mm -hmm. I'm a shooting star. I'm a rocket. Look down, Charlie. We're really high now. <laughs> you can, you can, oh, my God. You can <laughs> see him. You can see him on his <laughs> side. Oh, my God. Well, 71. Hey, you did it, oh. Let's just fly south. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the first ever green screen <laughs> adaptation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlie, it'll chop us to bits. We're in trouble, Charlie. Well, you better uh, catch that guard stop. it's got on it. Oh! Uh, boy, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. They can't be doing what they're doing. These are the geese that lay the golden eggs. They're quadruple-sized geese, which produce octuple-sized eggs. But Easter's over. They don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead. 
A very chocolate eggs. Golden chocolate eggs. Hey, Daddy, I want a golden goose. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> Bunker, how much do you want for the golden goose? They're not for sale. I want a ball. I want a party. I want the whole world. I want to wear so, a my brain. That's what happens when you don't discipline your kids. <laughs> uh, let this serve as a lesson in parenting and spoiling children. <laughs> just crashing the place. Good job, oh, Jean. So just now she's there. just. Now, if that was Mike. Oh, is she going to sit on there? It's going to say a bad oh. egg. Don't care. Yep. Oh, there, there she goes. goes. <laughs> See ya. She was a bad egg. <laughs> what did it lead to? To the furnace. Veruca, sweetheart. There's going to be a lot of garbage today. Do you play when your kid is up? Right. I don't understand it. The children are disappearing like rabbits. Behold the Wonkamobile. Few people realize what tremendous power there is in one of those things. Stop us for parts to know about this. Keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. Oh, they want that money. Yep. Uh-oh, foaming up. Oh, <laughs> 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's just rolling with it. <laughs> uh, see Charlie and Grandpa Joe having oh, a great they're time. just having a great time. Look at that movie magically, that? Yeah. gentlemen. You mean that's as far as it goes? Get on your block. Extreme <laughs> danger. There's dangerous stuff inside. My very latest and greatest invention. <laughs> Now, I suppose you all know how ordinary television works. So you photograph something, then the photographs will split up into millions of tiny pieces. You should open your mouth a little wider when you speak. <laughs> Goggles on, please. Camera? Action. Can we move your gun? <laughs> <laughs> the noise. It's the internet firing up in 1996. <laughs> now watch the screen. Work. <laughs> How can you take it? It's just a picture. All right, you two. It's real. Taste it. It's delicious. It's just gotten smaller. That's all. First person in the world to be sent by television. Don't come back. Don't come back. Don't come back. He barely. That's how that one went. Why is he taking so long? A million pieces take a long time to put together. The little group is getting smaller by the minute. I'm saying this. I'm a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to hear about this. Be quiet. Well, fortunately, small boys are extremely springy and elastic, so I think we'll put them in my special taffy <laughs> place. <laughs> taffy <laughs> You'll find the boy in his mother's purse. Da, da, da. Oh my. No, no, I won't hold you responsible. You won't be held responsible. What is this movie? Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, let's, let's just number a boot. <laughs> What do you get from a glut of TV? A pain in the neck. Why don't you try simply reading a book? Hey, hey easy. Hurting our business here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know anything. So much to do. So much to do. Invoices. I must answer that note from the Queen. When they leave here, they'll be completely restored to their normal, terrible old selves. <laughs> <laughs> Terribly busy whole day wasted. Goodbye to you both. Did we do something wrong? I don't know, Charlie. I don't think he did anything wrong. Mm. Half a safe <laughs> yeah. clock, half a sink. 
Mr. Walker? I am extraordinarily busy, sir. Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. When does he get it? He doesn't. We didn't say any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you get nothing. Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. I said good day. Buckworth wants a gobstopper. He'll get one. What happened to his gobstopper? What's the story with the half of everything? We got to get that. Yeah. Slugworth take half of everything? Charlie, you won. You did it. Forgive me for putting you through this. Charlie, meet Mr. Wilkinson. Pleasure. Slugworth. No, no. Ah. We have to get on. We have to get on. We have so much time and so little to do. Grandpa Jones, sir. This is the great glass wonkivator. An elevator can only go up and down, but the wonkivator can go sideways, squareways, and frontways, and any other ways that you can think of. <laughs> Just press a button and see. And up until now, I've pressed them all, except one. This one. <laughs> oh. There it goes. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everybody. Whoa. I gotta be honest, didn't see this one coming. No. Oh, um, good day, sir. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Hey, it's 1971. Yep. How did you like the chocolate factory, Charlie? I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. Because I'm giving it to you. You're giving Charlie the. I can't go on forever. I don't really want to try. <laughs> Growing up would want to do everything his own way, not mine. And that's why you sent out the golden tickets. That's right. What happens to the, the rest of the family? <laughs> I want you to bring them all. Well, that worked out. Don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. He lived happily ever after. <laughs> 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 all right. Crazy. Well. Well, Oak, since you have not <laughs> seen this at all, and I was about... Charlie's age when I saw it. Why don't uh, you go first here on this? Do one? I have any time to <laughs> prep for this wrap up? Like, can, can I take a few minutes to decompress? Look, I don't know what I just watched. I mean, uh, uh, look, obviously, um, a, a lot of lessons about um, parenting and behavior, I think. Um, and, and it was interesting, like, towards the end. It progressively got more and more blatant, <laughs> and then they start singing songs about it. Yeah, um, you know about gluttony, about greed, about sitting in front of the TV too much. So I don't know if some parents say, "Why don't we, why don't we write a movie to tell our kids to, you know, not be, uh, not be brats?" And then they call out parents for poor parenting. Yeah. Um, look, there's a lot of things that have changed, obviously, from 1971 to now. You know, fast forward 52 years. Um, iPads, social media, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, you know, kids, kids are going to be kids. Parents are going to be parents. And it's funny now because, you know, millennials got, got the, the brunt of it for a while, right? All these, mm -hmm. these darn millennials. And <laughs> Who are their parents? <laughs> and, yeah. Like I was like, I was pretty vocal, you know, I would always, you know, anytime somebody posted oh, on social media, all these millennials, I'm like, pump the brakes, pump the brakes on, you know, calling out millennials or, or any other generation. I don't feel if you're a millennial, uh, it's it, just let it that because it's, it's garbage. But it's like we, we, the parents should be taking the responsibility for it, you know. Mm -hmm. The kid that you know, the, the parents who you know grew up in the '80s or the early or even mid '90s, you're the ones who are having kids and the ones complaining about it. So interesting that in '71, lessons for parents, lessons for kids. Uh, like I said, you can you can change certain circumstances, but the the basics of parenting and and, and raising you know respectful children um, don't change. Um, in the beginning, I mean, obviously. They, you know, you saw very two polar opposites. We saw Charlie and his family had very little. Mom was working washing clothes. He was offering up the last of his paper route money to Grandpa Joe for tobacco. <laughs> so obviously a little bit different times that we're in right now. Family was living, six people in a house, uh, four grandparents, two sets of grandparents, all sleeping in the same bed, uh, head to toe. Um, and, and Charlie was very polite. He was very well-mannered. Uh, a very well spoken yeah, very young man <laughs> Get and his um, and you know uh the uh the other uh you know kids 
You had Augustus, who you know, the, I think he was supposed to represent <laughs> the the glutton here. Um, you know, you had uh, yeah, Veruca, uh, and Veru- Violet. Veruca, who like was TV. very like you know the spoiled rich kid. I want this. Well, I want it now. Um, you know, um, the, the little guy who wanted to watch TV all the time, uh, Mike T, you know, I mean, so it was, it was very interesting that they, you know, had all these kids representing different things, you know, and the, and the one girl chewing gum, like, uh, I don't, I don't think she was like that horrible, but she was very disrespectful to her dad, you know, like, mm-hmm. oh, come on, dad. Yeah. But dad seemed like he wasn't respectful of other people's time or, or, you know, he tried making everything about him, you know? So, uh, it was just a, a lesson and, you know, what, what not so well raised kids look like, <laughs> you know? So I thought that was interesting. It was, I, this was a lot of fun. I gotta be honest, yeah. like a lot of fun. Like Gene Wilder's yeah. character, oh, the oh. way he was like, <laughs> Oh, oh heavens no, stop. Yeah, his, <laughs> his, his like, performance was, he was incredible. Uh, he was, you know, where did the kids go? I want to know, uh, you know, earlier on the movie we saw people go in and they don't come out. They left it pretty vague what happened yeah. to the other kids. I mean, he said they would be fine. They yeah. go back to being the same, uh, like we say, rotten fine. kids yeah. they yeah. were before. Yeah. What are well, the he said he would hope that they would learn their lesson. Yeah, yeah. one of the Oompa... Yeah, very, that's a very good point. One of the Oompa Loompas, will I be held res- accountable or responsible? <laughs> uh, you know, the red flag started going <laughs> oh, no, up very be. early on when they had the... Uh, <laughs> when they had them sign the contract. And, you know, some of the parents were like, oh, let me let me take right a look at this. So let me take a look at this. Which is interesting because it's, you know, the old don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Mm. Um, it's, you know, here, like, the, the 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 two rich families were like, what are we signing here? Now, granted, if your children have to get into a contract with somebody, make sure somebody mm. reads it. But in this case, um, you know. It was so a spur of the moment. It was there. a very interesting, interesting movie. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, some things that were from the seventies that wouldn't be acceptable now, but not as much as, you know, we've seen in any movie that was, you know, 10, yeah, I thought it was really old. tame other than the, the tobacco know. thing. It was given a G rating, <laughs> um, which, you know, the, you know, the, the idea of kids going missing and stuff, maybe PG yeah. that, yeah. Uh, that yeah. boat scene they had the with all the images and the, stuff. The, yeah, yeah, that, that was got a little weird. Little I'm weird. surprised that they gave it a G rating. But in any regard, this was it was it was weird, but it was a lot of fun, and I think it was a really good movie. And I think it's I, I kind of wish I would have seen it when I was a kid and having like that perception and now seeing it as an adult, it's pretty fun to see it as an mm-hmm. adult, especially being a parent. So this was way more fun than I thought it would be. You know, I, I thought in the beginning, hey, it's it's gonna be a little bit creepy just because I've always gotten those vibes from you know the the social media posts or whatever. Yeah, there's the old meme. Do they have the meme in in the Wikipedia page? It's, yes, yeah, it's called the condescending, condescending Wonka. Yeah, yeah. Um, 2010s. 2010s. Yeah, it was a very early, very early meme. But in any regard, this was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Way more fun. Yeah, I mean, for me, I hadn't seen this since I saw it in in elementary school. We actually watched it in class, and I hadn't seen it since then. And I liked it a lot more this time watching it oh, than yeah. what I remember watching it back then. Maybe, you know, you're in school. I don't want to be here. I just want to go play outside or, you know, whatever. And th- <laughs> this was a lot of fun. And what really, what, you know, I was wondering how I would look at it with an older, a little bit older set of eyes. And I was like, checking out the sets early on i'm like look at these sets this stuff is all practical they actually had to build all this stuff and there was some pretty elaborate uh you know sets in there now granted there was only probably i think maybe three or four main sets in there we had you know the uh the initial one they went into with the chocolate river where my guy augustus fell in and got sucked (laughs) up and then there was the uh you you had the 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 room with the uh, the bubbles and, uh, and then, like, the main invention room where they were doing the gobstoppers. Yep. And then they never explained, like, the Wonka half room. And I'm wondering if that's explained in the book a little bit more. I mean, obviously, I'm sure it is. I'm sure the book can go into much greater detail than an hour and 40-minute mm-hmm. movie. But, uh, yeah, the set design was great. I thought all the actors did a tremendous job. You know, a lot of times you worry about an older movie and how it ages. Will it still hold up? 
I think this holds up as good as anything. Gene Wilder, of course, was amazing in here. Charlie was great. Uncle Joe was great. You know, all the kids <laughs> did their, I mean, for being child actors, they did damn good, I thought. They all did really well. I mean, we're, we're very spoiled nowadays because there are so many amazing young actors. We saw a number of them in the uh, Mike Flanagan series. If you uh, want to check out our stuff on that, it's on the channel. But some really great young actors in that. And I thought they were great. They played their roles perfectly. Uh, uh, yeah, but Augustus was great. And Veruca Salt had me probably laughing the most. But uh, this was a lot of fun. Like you said, tons of, tons of lessons in here that, that you could take from them about, you know, properly raising your kids. Not giving them everything they want. Charlie, you know, had very little and was appreciative for everything. Was very kind for it. So I, I thought it was just a lot of fun and way more fun than I remember when I was a little guy. Yeah, some of the things that I remember from it were the pop culture references, and obviously on the Wikipedia they have it. And one of them was, like I mentioned, was Family Guy, where they visited a brewery, but it was like the same thing as the Willy Wonka thing. And the, and there's and then the schnozberries that we picked yeah. up on. That was hilarious. I never knew that was from this. Not a clue, you know. And once he said he, st they started licking. And then he said schnozberries. <laughs> it's like we busted. We like you guys. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? That's where that came yeah. from. I wasn't quite sure, but uh, yeah. And then even like when he broke the rules and he came in that half room, I was I was worried. I was like, oh, oh where's this happy ending? Yeah. And like. You saw that the other kids were going to actually keep that everlasting gobstopper and sell it. And he actually gave it back because, well, it was everlasting apparently, so he could have had it forever. And that's what broke the thing wide open. So I wonder if like Wonka was watching him from afar or already kind of knew about him or just was waiting for the right kid to come along. Because who knows, if he would have been the wrong kid, he would have done another golden ticket. Right, because it was all random with the tickets. Yeah. Make you wonder if somehow Wonka set up the chocolate bar. It doesn't seem like as a storekeeper just grabbed it but the storekeeper did grab it so maybe and it was, was the one on front it. and center and he said hey right. why don't you try this one right instead of the i would love to hear the the, the fan speculation on yeah that there, there's got to be plenty of fan RFID speculation yeah. you know, <laughs> but, but also like day. i said at the beginning milwaukee native gene wilder just an absolute treasure in everything and anything he does but in this was just great with his delivery on some yeah. of his jokes next time you say something why don't you widen your mouth a little bit like i mean just <laughs> the little, little insults just a little insults he's oh. like wow you're a mighty fine body on there you know just mighty fine, fine shape mighty you fine know shape, yeah. just everything that he does is just great and then obviously uh veruca which was julie don cole amazing as like the stuck up i get everything i Damn want brat. oh my goodness it was just so much fun and to watch it come to life and other than you know the pop culture i i, I don't think i ever really saw it but the yeah. but the music though each song it, it kind of rang a bell that i had kind of yeah, heard especially of, like, the obviously the oompa loompa yeah. song yeah. but even that yeah. first song he's like have yourself you know doing that and then the candy man is yep. that that i've heard before too and so it was really fun hearing about but i didn't know about the other songs you know i didn't know that candy man was in it i didn't know that yeah. that charlie's mom sang a song about oh charlie like i didn't know any of that stuff so that was kind of a pleasant surprise and then they did a great job on all the sets and even from when the candy where he's gonna put some cleats in there <laughs> to give it a little kick yeah, and then yeah, the, the jacket was, that was, was interesting cold. and i have oh. to I, I have to mention uh look and, and i know some people um with certain films and stuff get a little tired some of my meme stuff but look it's pop culture just as these movies are pop culture <laughs> the grandpa joe stuff anybody who's ever posted a grandpa joe meme how spot on you are he he, I, he ended up being great comic relief i loved it yeah I, I, but the fact that he later the me now because i i didn't get the meme i just like okay was he just lazy and yeah. got the ticket and won whatever and i think some of them included the 20 year thing but they they tried they set it up where he literally laid in bed for 20 years yeah hey i got this ticket and then oh. he, two minutes later he's dancing yeah. answer is like well i'm just gonna get up and tap dance. Yeah, i didn't even think <laughs> sure about it and of course he did and sure enough yeah. You know, um, I wonder if the book, but uh, one thing I do want to say about this film that I thought was really interesting is, is we've watched a lot of um, animated movies, Disney, Pixar, things like that, that the audience is obviously a, a much younger target audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've commented, you know, repeatedly about how they do a really good job at putting enough humor and enough comedy, mm -hmm. sometimes very adult comedy that's d meant to go over the kids' heads. Um, to to keep it um, humorous for adults, and 
yeah, I don't know, maybe because it's from the 70s. It's always, like I said, I've always gotten a little bit of a, a creepy vibe, but a G rating. It's a kid's movie. But if it was meant to be a kid's movie, um, there is way more adult humor in this than I thought there mm. would be. And I have to imagine, regardless whether you were a parent in 71, 81, 91, 2021, <laughs> this is a fun movie to watch and very relatable for parents. And as an adult, you can watch it and have every bit as much fun as a kid and I, I you know I think about the things that make my three-year-old son laugh and he's you know probably a little bit young for this yet but oh he fell he fell in a chocolate river that's silly you know yeah. hey, that's <laughs> silly like oh my god he's floating so there's so many like very very silly things yeah. yeah like you know even like the little stuff I joke of my guy you can't put a shoe in chocolate <laughs> you know he would laugh he yeah. can't put a shoe in chocolate but they put the adult humor in here and I think it this movie is like ideal for people of all ages and the thing is with it, even with it being 52 years old um the the, the meat and potatoes of the lesson of the movie i don't think it'll ever get old i no. think it was, mm -hmm. it was it was really good yep. you could even take the glutton for tv you could take it as screen time like read a book yeah. you yeah. know and yeah. it's like but not right and, now and you know and uh, <laughs> just uh, hold off on that and, you got a little bit here yeah. to watch yet first yeah i mean wow this was this was phenomenal yeah. and now oh. this really makes me one want to watch the johnny depp version and two excited for the newer one that is yeah. going to be coming out i'm not sure exactly when that's coming out but this was well, we did do yeah. the trailer yeah, we, for so it. we did so, the trailer. Yeah, the trailer. I, forget, I forget when it's coming out though so yeah, yeah just called wonka correct yeah the, the thing that i liked about this and i'll do my score here but uh it was it was just long enough the scenes were held long enough the musical numbers were the right length like everything felt the timing was just perfect on this and i can't imagine that you could do it any better like i said this is this movie was actually more enjoyable for me as an adult to go back and watch and i just thought it was perfect so five out of five wow. answers for me i i don't know how you could have done it any better any better everything about it was done just perfect you know, for 1971, I mean, yeah, it was fun seeing like the early adaptations of green screen and stuff and the floating where you could clearly <laughs> see the, see the harness on yeah. Charlie. But, you know, it, it, like you said, the meat of the matter is just so much fun to watch. Gene Wilder is just, like I said, he's treasure, pride of Milwaukee. I got to go with five as well. This was a lot of fun, and I'm so glad we watched it. I don't like I, I was, you know, as I'm watching the movie, I'm like, I don't know how to score this. <laughs> I don't know how to score this movie because it's like, you know, do, do you go off of technical aspects or this? It was kind of weird. It was a little bit creepy. It had interesting points. And I'm like, I don't, it's a, like, I'm usually pretty decisive about how I score films. I think, uh, you know, we watched uh, Hereditary recent, but as opposite as you can get to this. So I, was like, I don't know how to score this. So here's, here's my number. Um, but I gotta, I gotta be honest. There's only one score I can give this film. It's a five. Hey, look I mean, at was, that! Perfect was, score. I mean, what what else are you gonna give this? Yeah. One, it's a classic, so there's some nostalgia there. But I mean, it had it had an interesting storyline. It had the meat and potatoes. You, everybody who watches the channel, if you're new to the channel on this, I love my lessons that they pull out of movies. And look, they they smacked you pretty hard in the face, like. Mm. But but they did it in a very like Gene Wilder's like yeah. oh no he's going there like yeah, I don't know what to do I mean, this this was so unexpected for me I yeah. thought it was just gonna be okay kind of a cheesy old movie I expected to pop for a few of the memes and stuff like that but I honestly did not expect to watch or enjoy it this much and so again to everybody who you know the people who said you gotta watch you gotta watch Willy Wonka the original. <laughs> Uh, I, I probably wouldn't have ever watched this. Um, yeah, you know, not was, for the was, channel, I would Not either. for the channel, but more as preparation for the upcoming new one, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure sure we'll watch. But this was a lot of fun. A five for me, fives all the way. Look at that, board. fives all around. And once again, thank you, Gene Wilder, for bringing uh, us to life. Legend. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.